Hello and welcome to more M19 Draft. So as you can see in the top, well I guess you can't see it, I've switched to the M19 Competitive Draft Leagues. So obviously once I lose it should be over. And I'm trying to figure out how to prevent spoilers for that, because now I'm posting in one video so you can't tell that there's just going to be one. But when I post timestamps of when the matches are, I guess just let me know in the comments what you prefer if I should say that there's only one match or like make up fake times we'll, we'll figure it out um okay sigiled sword of valerian it's a three mana three equip equip creature gets vigilance is a knight and it makes a knight that seems insane i'll definitely be taking that over arcane encyclopedia i also think is really good exclusion mage is nice i love meteor golem probably a bit too expensive so cards that are going to be taken after me this card Lich's Caress, Exclusion Mage, Corsair. So green and blue? Green and red, I guess, are not being taken from this pack. Jeez, that's loud. All right, from this pack, there is Murder. Well, this can attack if it's equipped, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's Murder, which is just a great card. Gaspark Twins is a 7-mana seven 7-7 seven, seven Trample. I feel like that's not actually that much better than Colossal Dreadmaw. It can block two creatures, but it costs seven mana. That's kind of a lot. Um, Gallant Cavalry goes well with the sword. Murder's just such a powerful effect, though. I think I just pick it up. Um, okay, so there's a Rock's Oracle. There's also Electrify, which is just a great removal spell. Not a big fan of Dragon Egg. Um, if we're trying to do things with a sword, I think I'd like to keep aggressive creatures, but this is a good card in general. There's also Militia Bugler, which is really powerful. There's a lot of good cards here. So this gets a creature with power two or less, puts it into play. So we just passed, I'm trying to think what white cards we've passed. We passed the Knight, the 2-2 Knight. And that's about it. This is such a powerful effect though, a three mana 2-3 Vigilance. It feels like it is better than Electrify. And in black there is Doom to center, Child of Night. So we can stay on course and take a pretty mediocre black card. Or we can kind of hedge a bit and take an extremely powerful white card. I think I like doing this. Okay. Um, wow. Volcanic Dragon in red. That's a pretty good sign that red is open. Angel of the Dawn in white is really good as well. And I think, like, if I'm not taking... Vol I think Volcanic Dragon is the best non white or black card not a huge fan of infectious horror it does work with the bugler i guess so i guess it's between the dragon and the angel um they're both really good cards i think i'm gonna take the angel we already have militia bugler oh this is so hard i really it's really tough because these are just <laughs> Great cards. And I think red is going to be open. We did just pass an Electrify. Yeah, I guess for that reason I'll take the Angel. But I could definitely see going either way there. Um, okay, Goblin Trash Master. Pump your goblins, kill artifacts. Eh, it's fine. What is his weapon? I don't know what that is. Um, so there's Sleep, which is really powerful blue card. In white, we really have like a Swift Claw, which isn't even great with a Bugler, so I don't really want to be taking that. I'm seeing almost no black, but this is a pretty late Druid of the Cowl. Yeah, I mean, I think I like Inspired Charge, but you can pick up one late pretty often. Druid of the Cowl or Swift Claw? I'm going to take the Druid. That could be risky, but I just don't think Swift Claw is a particularly powerful card. And seeing Druid that late does... I mean, I think this card is just much better than the Swift Claw. Um, okay, there's an Axe, which goes well if we're going to have a bunch of dorky creatures and try and equip them up with swords. Uh, I don't like Oaken Form much. Again, there's a Swift Claw, but I think taking the Axe is going to go in any deck we draft. We have this one of murder, and we could pick up Skeleton Archer, but again, we're still not entirely sure what colors are open. So I'm just going to take the Axe and... Kind of defer this pick one more turn. Okay. 
<laughs> it still doesn't tell us much. These black cards are not amazing. Dwarven Priest is like... I just don't like it. It doesn't do that much. I guess there are some life gain synergies. Uh, Recollect is pretty bad. I guess I take Dwarven Priest. I, don't, I really don't want to play like any of these cards though. Actually, how good is Blood Divination? Sec four mana? Nah, I'm gonna take Dwarven Priest. Uh, Sky Scanner. Okay. Well, this is a great card to take when you don't know what colors you're in. Um, <laughs> I still don't see any strong signals. There's like a Dwindle that's pretty good. So seeing that late could be an indicator, but we're just gonna take artifacts. This is great with the sword, good with the axe, good with the bugler. Mm okay. So there's Infectious Horror in black. It's just a four mana 2-2 two -two though. Uh, green does not look particularly open. This has been a very difficult draft so far. Oh, I guess I take the Horror over Abnormal Endurance. Actually, this seems better than the Horror, doesn't it? Especially for playing stuff like Skyscanner. Okay, Novice Knight or Rustwing Falcon. I have two equipments, the axe and the sword, so this card could actually be getting in for damage. I'm seeing a lot of Foul Orchards. And I probably would play Falcon now that we have all this equipment, but this card seems actually passable in this type of deck. Okay, Child of Night. So we could be in like black white life gain maybe. Infectious Horror. Not in green for a Blanchwood armor. I really don't like this card though, but I suppose you can hit it off the Bugler. All right. The Fatty Knight versus Goblin Motivator. Um, I suppose red could be a direction we're going. I just don't see myself wanting this Knight. Bog Stomper? Yeah, that's gotta be better than this apparatus. Just a big fatty. Although we don't have much removal yet. I'll take the stopper though. This guy's just big. And if we do end up red black. Whoo. Wow, this pack. Demanding dragon. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh it's so hard, but we just have a bomb rare. How many knights do we have? So this makes knights. This is a knight. This is a dwarf. Yeah, we definitely just take this card. That's so good. Importantly to note, it pumps itself as well. So basically we want to find as many of the four mana make two, two, two knights as we possibly can, but this is a great pickup. And maybe we can find, it's not a knight. It's a nightmare. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a double entendre because it's, it's a nightmare and it's a knight and mare is a horse. <sighs> so good, taking this though. Um, ooh, a Johnny's Pride Mate. Um, let's see. So right now we have Child of Night. Dwarven Priest. But there's a lot of ways to make this big. I think this is just a powerful pickup. And I'm not going to be splashing Symbiont. Uh, make a stand, maybe I would play. But this card can get real good real fast. Whoo! Whoa, okay. We are in the right colors. Lena, selfless champion, makes a bunch of things. Are they knights? They're soldiers, but she's a knight. She? Yeah. Uh, ooh, Forsaken Sanctuary would love Starcrown Stag, but we're taking this card. Sun Cleanser. What do you do? Remove all counters. Target opponent loses all counters, so it literally does nothing. Okay. Um, there's a Johnny's Welcome, which is great with Pride Mage, but... As of now, that's the only synergy we have. I feel like that shard, that card should come around. I don't think I'm playing Bog Stomper. So we have a two-headed zombie or ravenous harpy. So one-two flyer. This card is often not amazing, but it does have flying, and I guess we don't have many ways to get flying. I guess I take this. I I, <laughs> I just can't see myself playing this. Or taking this this early. Probably it comes around and then maybe I'll consider taking it, but at the moment I guess we're harpying. Over a two-headed zombie, I think, is the next consideration. Um 
Okay, rogues gloves lets novice knight attack. I don't know why my threes are over here and my twos are there, but whatever. Um, there's dwarven priest if we need more life gain. If this was a knight, I think I would be much more inclined to take it. But I feel like this deck kind of beats down and two-headed zombie hits pretty hard. Weapness Harpy, Sky Scanner, it's got the sword. Yeah, I'm gonna take the two-headed zombie. <laughs> so many sun cleansers. Uh, Fell Spectre is actually nice here. It is a flyer, it's evasive. Um, gives you a bit of incidental life loss to your opponent. And this should make them a knight. Like there's knight synergies in this set. <laughs> Just really should. Especially when being compared with a card like One with the Wind which also gives flying, but we're going to take this. Mm, Sky Scanner. I think, I think I like that over Macabre Waltz. We just, random flyers is nice. I really would take the team pump now. Didn't know I'd have all these one ones. Sorry, Field Creeper. Um, okay, it looks like black is being cut or it just wasn't opened. Could this be a Knight's Pledge deck? It really should give them light, uh, make them a Knight. So let's see. It's good on Novice Knight. You can hit for four on turn two, but that's about it. I think I'd rather take Invoke the Divine for the sideboard. Okay, Vampire Neonite is good. Pretty sick combo of Neonate into Pride Mate. Um, I think I like a Duress over another random Dwarven Priest. There are some matchups where you want like one dress. I'll take some fixing. All these unplayable red cards. I feel like Teutonic Rift is better than people give it credit for, but still not amazing. A Johnny's Welcome. You know, if I like get the dream and open like three Pride Maid next pack, I'm gonna be real sad I didn't pick this up. But in general, I don't think it's playable. Come on, Knights. Well, <laughs> there's a knight, but I think we're going to be taking Luminous Bonds. Uh, this card should definitely come around. I haven't seen anyone like ever want to take it. There's some great green cards. Reclamation Sage, Baloth, Druid. I like the bookcase. I don't think it's great in this deck. Oh, wow. And there's Skymarch Bloodletter. Hmm. Because this is also a life trigger for Pride Mate. Let's see, I don't want to play the Dwarven Priest. Um, I think I need the removal, given that I have a couple flyers, but not much removal. So I'm going to take the bonds first. Ooh, Militia Bugler? Okay. Yes, let's see, how many things does that hit? That's like almost everything in my deck, right? Sigil Sword, Ravenous Harpy... Normal Endurance. Yeah, I gotta take the Bugler over Strangling Spores, but that's why we took the removal last pick, so we can free ourselves up to do stuff like this. I really wish he was a knight. We need more knights. <laughs> what? Uh, well, white is open. <laughs> what? This is a third pick Resplendent Angel. Jeez, I see why it took our opponent so long to pick that pack. I mean, I'm passing a Pegasus Courser, but like... Dude. <laughs> Holy cow. So if you gained 5 life, then you make an Angel with Vigilance. I think I just take Luminous Bonds now? This card should come around. Uh, this card is not wield, but Luminous Bonds is great. I'm just going to take it. Enigma Drake. Ooh. Regal Bloodlord, that's a nice one. Let's see. So we have this to gain life, Child of Night, Vampire Neonate. Uh, I guess that's it. But even just those, I think is worth taking this card. Um. So there's Child of Night, there's also Gargoyle Sentinel. But I think for curve considerations, I mean, this card's really good. Uh, if you can equip it with like the axe, this doesn't pump, pump toughness, does it? So, what reasons do we have to gain life? This has life link. It does not. 
Um, I do like the Sentinel, but I guess I take the Child of Night. Okay, Blood Divination, still just kind of clunky. I guess for the sake of curve, we can take a Walking Corpse. Shield Mare. You know, I made fun of this card, but it might be the pick. This is not a knight. We can make our sky scanners 3-3 three, three indestructibles, which is pretty sweet. Um, so this gains 3 life when it enters. It's a 2-3. There's also just Daybreak Chaplain, which I, I think I like better than Child of Night in the Marauder's Axe Sigiled Sword deck. This is tough. So this one gains 3, can't be blocked by red. This has got to be better. Um, Knight of the Tusk. I mean, if we need if we need the booty, he got the booty. More infectious horror. Walking corpse. Never playing infernal scarring in my life. Okay, Daybreak Chaplain. I actually might replace a Child of Night. Uh, Johnny's welcome. <laughs> Really go off with Regal Bloodlord. If this was a knight, I guess I just. I guess I'll take this. I'm not going to play Hired Blade. Walking Corpse. Land. Okay, this deck looks powerful. It's really missing some synergies with this, but that's okay. The rest looks decent. Uh, it's, it's stuck on zooming in again. So I don't want to play you. Angel of the Dawn, that seems great, especially with stuff like Regal Bloodlord. Infectious Horror I do not like. Fell Spectre is good, Valiant Knight is good. Revenous Harpy is actually maybe looking kind of bad. Um, I guess it's kind of funny with like Lena and Regal Bloodlord, so we'll keep it in for now. The Angel's great, these Buglers look super powerful. Um, maybe Walking Corpse is just too mediocre. Daybreak Champlain. Johnny's Pride Mate. Child of Night. So, I guess the question is kind of do I want these things? They're good with Bloodlord. Maybe I play one. What else do I have instead? I think this is definitely a 17 land deck with double Bugler, uh, some activated abilities, and a good six drop. Maybe we cut the Harpy? It is just a 3 mana 1 2 flyer. Shield Mare. In general, I don't like this card, but we have Pride Mate, Regal Bloodlord, and Equipment to make it like a 3 3 lifelink, I think is way better than a 4 1. Um, Abnormal Endurance. Ooh. Yeah, we got to keep Abnormal Endurance in for that combo. Also, just a way to like protect busted stuff like a Resplendent Angel. This costs 6 to pump. Forsaken Sanctuary. I think I play one of. Well, Spectre, because we have, let's see, what do we have as far as double colored costs? Sigil Sword costs 3 to equip and play. Because it is a real cost to play a tap land in your deck. But if we're trying to play Murder and these 1-drops, probably I do run the Sanctuary. How does this mana look? Sword by color. Oh, maybe I play the Harpy over 2-headed Zombie? Uh, I could see that happening. <laughs> this is another deck we could play 60 cards. <laughs> um, no, we have plenty of threes. I'm going to play the 4-2. Okay, I'm going to look at it some more, but I'm locking it in like this. Uh, maybe I will be switching this for a two-headed zombie. Um, I don't think so, though. I'll see you guys round one. Hello and welcome to round one. We're on the play. Let's do it. Yeah. I mean, we got to hit a third land, but if we do, 
we can do like sky scanner sky scanner ggs i think yeah like there is an odd that we just never play a spell this game but it just seems like such a negative expected value play to mulligan a hand just because immediately we can't cast anything now if we had like a bunch of five drops land 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 okay I think we can even miss a, a land drop or two, but if we miss more than like three land drops, we probably lose. But, whew, that's a good card. Land, okay. So this, they can do three and tap sack to kill our Valiant Knight. It's an insane card. Um, and this cannot prevent activated abilities. So we're gonna lead out on Sky Scanner. Um, Ooh, oh, this is a very high power hand. Let's just hit some lands now. I kind of just want to get the sword going. But this costs six, right? Okay, so I want to save this until I can like activate it the very next turn. Also, I want to make them use this ability to kill the Valiant Knight. They're attacking. Okay. Three colors. Trusty pack beast. Sure. Land. Okay. Given that we hit a land. We could just slam Valiant Knight. That blocks both of their things. And if they want to kill it, they have to use the Pyromancer. We could also play the sword. And then if they don't kill this or hold up this activation. And then we don't even equip next turn. So the most mana efficient play is doing this. Or this. 1-3 blocks everything they have. I think I'm going to play out my board more and I'm just gonna play the Fell Spectre. Just getting more creatures in play. Limit the number of choices they have and ideally we can just play and equip this all in one turn. Because we have things to do every turn. Next turn we can go Sky Scanner. <laughs> Alright, Fell Spectre trading for Volcanic Dragon is pretty nice. I'm going to hit for one. That makes me feel like opponent does not have many lands in hand. And now that there's two creatures, so the reason I didn't want to play sword last time is if they had a kill spell, they can just kill our sky scanner and then we don't have any equip and then we're a bit behind on board. But with two creatures in play, that's much more difficult for them to accomplish. So we can probably next turn... Uh, I guess it depends. If we hit a land next turn, I think I just Sky Scanner. And then that makes us really likely to hit six the following turn and just play and equip all at once. All right, they did a thing. Oh, Fell Spectre's so good against Rummaging. That's so great. I didn't even think about that. Okay, so my it, they must be land screwed. It looks like they didn't hit. I mean, it, it is the price to pay for running three colors. Yeah, Swift Claw is pretty bad against the Sky Scanner. <laughs> okay, so given that we drew a land, I think I'm just gonna play this Sky Scanner. Okay, and let's hit with the one three. Because we are pressuring them, we can hit like this. Then if they kill our Sky Scanner, we're trading two for a lot. I think we really do have the late game locked up. I'm just gonna hit for one. Moving to combat? Hitting for two. I mean, I will block. If you use a whole trick just to kill this, that's <laughs> no problem for me. Okay, so they hit a land. 
Four mana Havoc Devils. Yeah, that's fine. Land? Um, that's like kind of better than a land. <laughs> Everything has Vigilance. Go, go, go. They're at eight. So the Devils can hit us for a bit of damage. But yeah, that was just so much more mana efficient than doing anything else. All right, they finally decided on Electrify on the Angel. Sure thing. Swing it out. Uh, it looks like we're taking three or four. I feel like you want to attack with a Pyromancer as well, but I guess that lets me trade if I want. I block there and I block here and we take four. Land. Okay. Yeah, this has to be the correct play. It just pressures them. I suppose I should have equipped to Fell Spectre. Then I have a 3-3. Three, three. But Skyscanner can just trade with the Devils. They fall to two. All right. <laughs> Go. Actually, I don't even think I'm going to be blocking. They're at two life. They have to kill all of my creatures. So they play a planes. They kill my sky scanner. And take vengeance, my flyer. All right, they're dead on board. I can just equip. Wait, if you attack like that, you literally are dead on board. I don't even have to do anything then. <laughs> Opponent, no. I guess maybe they're just hoping I don't read my cards. That might be their only way out, but this makes a knight in play that's attacking. So I don't even have to show them my luminous bonds. And they block and die. They weren't in a great position either way, but they could have, like, hoped I had literally nothing. Then they block the devils on the knight and the 2-3 on the 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Sideboarding. So they are red, white, green. Like, 15 colors. Do I play a Johnny's Welcome? I really don't think so. I think the deck's just too good. All right, we're on the draw. This hand is not amazing, but... Hopefully Bugler can draw us into more action. And we have our colors and the Valiant Knight, so. Normal Endurance. Uh, <laughs> I don't normally like seeing that in a hand like this. Oh, wait, no, it's sweet. That card with Bugler is really nice. Never mind, take it all back. As long as they kill this. Okay, yeah, this hand's good again. <laughs> take it all back. Trusty Pack Beast, yep. No worries there. Where were you earlier, man? All right, please hit. Whoa, we have a lot. Oh yeah, we're taking, oh man. So we get to choose between Pride Mate, which is real good with his Neonate, or just another Bugler for like unlimited value. Um. Hmm. Take another bugler. We're just gonna value them out. Star crown stag. Yep, you got it. Okay, so we hit a plains. Um, I kind of like playing the sword here. Next turn, we can swing with an equipped Bugler with Abnormal Endurance up. And yeah, let's do that. No attacks. I guess another option was to just swing with the Bugler and Abnormal Endurance when they blocked with a 3-3. Then we trade and I get this back, get more creatures. 
but I think I, I just like the mana efficiency of a three drop and a one drop. And the next turn we can play a three drop and a two drop or equip and play a two drop. Okay, but not attacking. Wow, it's gonna, sorry if it gets really rainy. They did nothing. Um, let's see, do you have Electrify? So we're playing a Plains, we're equipping to the Bugler. They have Electrify, they Electrify it. And then we have Normal Endurance. Okay. Yeah, so now we do this. So it dies. Get it back. Make some knights. Um No, resplendent angel. Why you do this? Um I kind of just like sky scanner for drawing cards, but also shield mirror can't be blocked by red creatures. Target of a spell or an ability. Yeah. Yeah, we're going with the shield mare. We're going to win this game off of value regardless because we have like the sword. Does this still equip? There's no way that should still equip, right? Okay, I was like, <laughs> that's not how that works. Um, so I took the shield mare because, oh, maybe that was a bad play because I don't have enough white. But anyway, um, I can't imagine us losing based on value. The only way I can imagine us losing is by our opponent killing us before we can get all of our spells into play. So just something that gains life and if they want to tap it down, it gains us three life. And yeah, so our, our plan now is to like play Shield Mare, hopefully draw planes and also Bugler. And then we can like equip the sword to the Shield Mare or something like that. Spark Tongue Dragon. Sure. See, yeah, now they hit for five. And then they have a 3-3 three, three back to trade with the Bugler. What? Uh, no attack is definitely bad. And we hit a Plains. Uh, I think we equip. One, two, three. They want to block, they have to block with one of these. I guess they can eat the 2 2 knight. But not for long. And if they don't block, we just have a nice boy on defense. Okay, so they block like that. Totally fine with these trades. We lose the value off the equip on this guy, but now we can play Shield Mare, which if they want to kill, then we gain even more life. Uh, we still have Bugler back. And uh, next turn, what I really want to do is uh, equip the sword here and play Valiant Knight to pump our knights that are produced so they can't just kill it with one of these guys. Good card. <laughs> really, really sucks to hit this off an Elvish Rejuvenator. <laughs> That's <laughs> one of the worst feelings. Okay. This opponent's playing really slow, so <laughs> hopefully I was able to successfully edit out all their tanking. Okay, we take three. And... Land is not ideal, but um, 
going to equip the shield mare. And then play Valiant Knight. And now they can't just chump the 3-3 randomly. It's a 5-4. Whoo boy. And next turn, I think they're just like dead. <laughs> Yep, take eight. This sword is real dumb. Like, oh my. Well, after all that thinking, they played Smelt on the sword, which seems like an obvious play, but they could also have a seven drop that, I don't know. I don't want to judge opponent, but the one thing that really irks me is when people just take unnecessarily long to do anything. Um, I don't even think I need to use Luminous Bonds here. You can just swing out. I can give double strike. One, two, three, four. I can give double strike and play the bugler post combat. And this can't be blocked here, so. I don't know if opponent knows how uh, double strike works, but they're about to find out. Yep. Um, do I even play the Bugler? I think I'm just going to Vampire Neonate. Like, the only thing that gets him out of this is a board wipe. But judging by their blocks, I just feel like they don't know what this does. All right, finally they scooped. All right, hopefully round two is... Hopefully they're the same speed for you, but this one took forever for me. So, <laughs> see you guys round two. All right, round two. We are on the play. Oh, yeah. We got, we got the best two drop in the game, followed by what actually might be <laughs> the best three drop. <laughs> Have you read this card? <laughs> oh my. And here, two-headed zombies looking a lot better than a random 1-3 bird. Although, I guess we have to draw a swamp, you know? Um, I think I just run out the angel, depending on what they do. Swamp. Marauder's Axe. Oh, that's going to be nice. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hit for one, run out the Angel, and the next turn we can play and equip the Axe. Gain four life. Oh, it's not five. Or I guess it's gain three. Play your boy. Go. Swamp off the top. Swamp off the top. Blood letter, sure. Land, swamp. Okay. Um. Honestly, I kind of like suiting up this bad boy. We hit for six damage this turn, gain three life. Seems nice. There definitely could have been an argument for just landing the zombie, but I feel like gaining all this life and hitting for all this damage is definitely worth it. I think the argument for holding up abnormal endurance to protect the angel is pretty poor. Uh, most opponents are going to do it on, like, use the removal on my turn anyway. Skeleton Archer. Oh man, they're super dead. <laughs> yeah. Forsaken Sanctuary. So we can trade our 3 3 with their 3 3. Still hit them for 3 in the air. Yeah. Yep, we can block. Let's see. So if they had murder... Mm, I think I like doing this. 
Um, because one of the premier removal spells in this format is Lich's Caress. First of all, this is a threat on its own that has to be dealt with. So if they go like land Lich's Caress, uh, then we abnormal endurance, save our guy, and gain a ton of life. And if they don't do that, next turn we can play two-headed zombie. We don't even need to go for the pump, they just take five in the air. And then they die. Like, <laughs> it's a win-win. Mind rot. Target player discards two cards. One, two, three, four, five. Um... Okay, this is actually challenging. Because they could have Take Vengeance. And that would be a really good play. So what, what's the best situation for us? I feel like we just discard these two and keep the Endurance. Um, we're pretty likely to draw lands. Okay, yeah. And now we just go for it. The only card I was worried about was Take Vengeance. Yep. Okay. And they didn't kill it last turn. They probably can't kill it this turn. This card's so dumb. <laughs> oh my goodness. Game one down. Who knew Mythics win games? Um, so they're like black white things. Eh, I just run it back. Oh yeah, this hand's great. Daybreak Champlain, Regal Bloodlord, Sky Scanner for value, perfect mana. Uh, all right. I mean, we we have to have hit five lands eventually, but I think now the actual card Swamp is the worst card drawn in our deck, and we just drew more. All right, let's. That's enough swamps. No more of those. Daybreak Champlain. Best magic card. Doom to center. All right. Um, I think I like bugling. Locks the doom to center pretty well. And I'm I'm fine getting the life here. Especially because we can just block with this guy. Well, that's actually kind of a net positive. We missed one murder, but then three lands. So, can't be too sad. Okay. Block if you attack. Totally fine with you using tricks now. Interesting. Oh, right, Skeleton Archer. Yeah, that wasn't amazing, but we still did trade for their thing. Okay, so we drew the planes. Um, I guess now we play Sky Scanner. Ooh, how that? <laughs> that is a good card. Put it on this baby boy. Take three off the archer. Oh man, if they don't play a sufficient blocker for Daybreak Chaplain, we can start making bats. That is not a sufficient blocker. Yeah, let's make some bats. Um, just hit for one. Yep. Reasonable block. Boom! And then we can Angel of the Dawn all these bats. This deck is insane. Holy cow, it's like constructed over here. And then the life... <laughs> And then the, the pump makes this big enough to swing in so we can gain even more life off this guy. Yeah. 
Luminous Bond him. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I guess they can try and get really aggro. I mean, nothing. Interesting. Well, this is going to be really disappointing for you, opponent. Um, so we have two options. We can Luminous Bond their Skeleton Archer, or we can just do the reasonable play and just equip Sword to Daybreak Chaplain, gain a bunch of life, make a Knight. This deck is dumb. I feel bad for the opponent. Because I have to block here, but then the knight just gets in. We gain life, get a bat. <laughs> okay. Get two one ones. It's not terrible. So we don't have any way to gain life right now. Shield mirror gains life. <laughs> Give me more bats, please. And I'm going to hold these cards because of Mind Rod. I really want Angel of Dawn. And. So I equip to the Vigilance Knight. I guess it already has Vigilance. Um, let's equip to Sky Scanner. Right, Sky Scanner, they have to trade with this if they want to kill it. And they could just block the 2 2, but that's fine with me. Yeah, we'll attack like that. So they assumedly block here and here, but then they have no flying blockers for the rest of our sword hits. Oh, and we get a bat. Just, you know, <laughs> because of value. Okay. Planes. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So if we had played the land, we could have really gone off. But honestly, this play is totally fine too. If we just like try and wait and equip the sword, we kind of die to random stuff. But this play is just good regardless of what's happening. Like, let's say we equip the sword to a 2-2 bat. The extra 2-2 that we make doesn't do much because they just block with their 3-3. But now if we can kill their 3-3. Strangling spores. Okay. And again, still playing around Mind Rot. These lands don't do anything for us, but Luminous Bonds does. Okay. Ooh, Fell Spectre is good. One, two, three, four. Um, I'll swing first. Maybe we can get their last card. And I'm going to equip a bat, I think. Yeah. The easiest to kill, but... Murder. Okay. So now we can mind rot their last card. And they're probably just dead even to like Fell Spectre. One, two, they take five, they go to one. Yeah, no more cards in hand for you. So they literally have to top deck a board wipe, and even then they're in bad shape. Okay, so they're at three. Good luck.
crushed it. See you guys in the finals. I feel like every hand in this deck is great because every card in this deck is great. Like, <laughs> every hand with Militia Bugler feels like we're cheating. We have a good one drop. If we can draw Johnny's Pride Mate, ah. uh, I guess the only thing we're missing is a Swamp, but we'll draw that eventually. And even if we don't, like, <laughs> this hand's totally fine. Blue, black, okay. Pride Mate? No. Okay. Uh, let's. No more planes. That's enough planes. Gotta remember to neonate here. Sky March Blood Letter, sure. Alright, I'm gonna do this for F6 value. Next turn, baby. Next turn. Um, yeah, Bugler into Bugler has got to be the value there. Yeah, next turn we're going to play Pride Mate. And if they don't kill it immediately, this just takes over. Um, so I'm going to attack first. I don't want to get countered. And this totally could be like a bone to ash. Doing nothing on turn four. There's essence scatter, cancel, bone to ash. Um I mean this opponent is three and oh, so they're no they're not dumb. If we run into a bone to ash, that's like pretty bad for us. I'm just gonna pass. We're winning on board, so they have to act first and if we ever get to assemble this combo or resolve a Militia Bugler, we're just so far ahead. I would have really liked if we had an extra Swamp so we could end of turn murder and activate this, but it's like pretty fine for us. Swamp. Fell Spectre. Okay. Hit for two. Um, I don't like doing absolutely nothing. Problem is if it is specifically bone to ash, like they could just hold it up for a while. I'll play our worst creature here and they can counter that. We at least still have vampire neonate up. Yeah. I don't know. That might have been wrong. Maybe we just are supposed to sit there and do nothing. Especially if they have more bone to ashes. But yeah, like next turn they just play omen speaker. Hold up Bone to Ash, and then what? Where did they put them? Two cards on top? Okay. Yep. If they have two Bone to Ash, then it's difficult. Ooh, Valiant Knight? Hmm. Two, three. So now we can Bugler. Still gonna attack. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah, let's bugler. If it's another bone of ash, that feels real bad. If it's just, whew, okay. Now we're in trouble. Actually, are we? We still have tons of action in our hand. Never mind. <laughs> Unless opponent has like 16 bone ashes. Mind rot. Okay. Let's discard. This is not a knight. What are we discarding? We can't cast murder yet, so I discard that. And I mean, Valiant Knight is just a really powerful threat. Spell, Spell Spectre block, blocks the blood letter. But Valiant Knight just kills stuff. Plays around strangling spores. Yeah, I guess I guess I discard Fell Spectre. Degraph Ghoul. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, if they have Essence Scatter up too, like we're not really gonna beat that, so. Uh, 
Um, so we can play Pride Mate and just make it get huge. Yeah, let's do that. This sequencing makes more sense, because if they counter this, then we can jam Valiant Knight. Um, so if they let that resolve, maybe this just resolves. Let's hit with the Bugler. Yep. Because, yeah, strangling spores makes me really want to do this right now. Okay. Lich's Caress. Okay. Yeah, because, yeah, like I said, if we just play Pride Mate and pass, we fall pretty far behind. But now we're, like, pretty good here. Um, so Bugler we can trade. I don't really want a Luminous Bonds. They don't have anything scary yet. We're going to need an A right now, though. This kind of plays around Disperse. They have basically one turn to Strangling Spores. And no good attacks yet. Next turn we have good attacks. And keeping Luminous Bonds and Swamp in hand in case they have something like Fell Spectre or the blue-black flyer that makes us discard. Yep, take two. This card has been really good. Okay, I like that too. So I'm going to do this right now. Yep. And let's hit. Totally lost, okay. Well, we can play this now. That hits for a lot. Um, it's getting to the point. No, there's no point. My my clock is way faster than this. I'm waiting for them to tap out for something huge. Like, uh, what is that getting? Lich's Caress? Yeah, okay. Yep. So we draw the Pride Mate. They can just kill it. Or they could just kill the Neonate. Um... What happens if we just Luminous Bonds their 2-2 Flyer? It's unfortunate. If we swing with this, they just block with these two. And then... Like, it's, not, it's just not good to swing with that right now, is it? I can Luminous Bond the Omen Speaker, but that seems absolutely terrible. As weird as it is, oh, that's so aggro though. We can outlast it. You have Essence Scatter too? Oh my gosh. Yeah, their deck is nice. So they're liching, liches caressing our two-headed zombie. All right, I think we have to do this now. <laughs> they can kill our neonate with caress, I guess. What? Dude, your deck is perfect. Yep. Counteract it. I shouldn't have done that, because now they get better attacks. Uh, they're still not good. Swamp, I will play it. Um, still no good attacks. Right, because they just double block. Yeah. So we're taking one a turn. There's got to be a limit to how many Bone to Ash and Essence Scatters you can have, though. Uh, we still have a lot of good draws, though. 
Mm, mm, I don't like five mana. Oh, right. <laughs> you almost feel real bad with just caressing lit a literal one drop, but that's like the only thing keeping me in this game. All right, we got to draw right now. Novice Knight. Uh, that could get somewhere. Um, six. Okay, that's that's what I was really hoping to save my um, bonds on. It's rough that they made us discard our murder. I think just the sequence of our draws, one and bottom, one and top, was pretty bad this game. But we're still not out of it. We could draw our mythic. We could draw the sword. Sword is probably our best. Sky scanner. It's a redraw. Abnormal endurance. Oh, I like that actually a lot. Um, what happens if I swing like this? They don't have two good blocks. They can either block here on here or double block these, but not both. So we're gonna block like the swing like this. We just we need them blocking with Horizon Scholar or else we're dead. Okay. So I guess we abnormal endurance our sky scanner and block the blood letter. Oh no. Um, never mind, I guess we're chumping with it. That doesn't get us there, does it? No, because we fall to two. Um, these don't have flying. All right, yeah, you got me. Your draws were real good. <laughs> All right, game two, I'm bringing in duress. That seems good against them. And what could have I know? This knight is huge, but they can just block it really well. Child of Night seems really bad against the deck with one threes. So we're gonna bring in duress for Child of Night and keep the rest the same. Going first. Okay, yeah, one land in the hand is perfect. Play a neonate. Come on, we can do this. I believe in us. We need to get down threats before they can play Bone to Ash. Um, I think getting the axe in play is more important than draining them for one. And then land off the top and we're great. Bone to uh, Marauder's Axe actually really stops a lot of the problems we had last game. Land, okay. Um, I'm gonna lead on Sky Scanner. They have Essence Scatter. I'd rather them counter that than the Bugler. Okay, doing nothing. Uh, we're gonna play the Bugler now. I want to get that down below Essence Scatter. You have two? Okay. Okay. Scared me, man. And Novice Knight Marauder's Axe is pretty nice. Yep. Yep. Bugler into Bugler. Let's do it. Run it back. <clears throat> now if they want to keep up uh, Bone to Ash, more power to him. Reassembling Skeleton. Um, so they didn't have Essence Scatter last turn. Let's hit for two. Yep. You didn't have it last turn. I can't imagine you having it this turn. Yep. Getting you. Go. And now if they want to hold up Bone Dash, we can just duress. Cure of blood. Yeah, that's fine. 
Valiant Knight. Um, so we only have one white. So we can get down Novice Knight. We can Luminous Bonds their 4-4. Four four. But that's not even a big deal. They just have to block. <clears throat> yeah, I think I like playing Novice Knight and equipping on one of the Buglers. <clears throat> you can just block with the Skeleton, but that's more mana you have to spend. And next turn, hopefully we draw a land, then we can duress. I guess if we don't draw a land, we can go duress, daybreak, daybreak chaplain. Or even just luminous bonds on the epicure. Okay. Plague mare do nothing. Okay. Sell specter. So let's duress. I just want information on their hands so I know how to play. Getting him back, yep. Whoo, okay. They have two swamps. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, let's hit with the bugler. Play Daybreak Chaplain. Hitting Lich's Caress was real clutch there. I don't know why I'm checking that. They played Swamp? Okay, so one's down. Wait, did they play Swamp? Yeah. Land. Okay. So... I wanted them to play their last Swamp so we can fell Spectre. I think we Luminous Bonds the Epicure. That really opens us up to just swinging freely. And next turn we can equip the Novice Knight. Um, I guess they can double block the Daybreak Chaplain. But they can also double block the Militia Bugler. Uh, no, this one's too free, right? Yeah, because at least the Bugler trades with the Plague Mare. <laughs> what a draw. Okay. So you get a free eat and a chump. Double block. Right. That was a good draw. They're still not out of the woods yet, though. Woman speaker. Scry two. All right. Put one on top, one on bottom. Okay, so we're definitely slamming Fell Specter to get the discard trigger and get a flyer into play that they can't block. And no attacks. Horizon Scholar. So we can Luminous Bonds that. And if we hit a land, we can go Luminous Bonds and equip the axe. Two cards on bottom. Okay. Come on, land. Interesting. Swinging for four. So if we block with all of these, they can kill our Fell Spectre. And that's it. That actually seems decent. I'll trade a Fell Spectre for a 4-4. Four four. Because they gave us the Luminous Bonds. We they know about that. So your 4-4 four, four can't block. And we equip Daybreak Chaplain with this because Novice Knight 
they just chump. This at least gains us life every turn. Let's see. Oh, but they can't bring back the skeleton next turn. I'm going to equip the knight. Because we have Valiant Knight. And we can still just swing with both of these. Because they can't kill the chaplain. It's been an insane game. I have not had any mana to activate this guy. <laughs> okay. Get back Skelly. And now they're in bad shape because we can play this guy. Or that. That also seems good. Um, That seems better. And we can neonate if we draw land. <laughs> better hit that Lich's Caress, dare boy. Okay. Okay, game three. We're on the draw. I like Duress. Dwarven Priest, Invoke the Divine. None of those matter. Ravenous Harpy, no. Walking Corpse, no. Yeah, run it back. This deck's great. Hmm, this hand is a bit slow, but it's not going to get, like, I think mulliganing, the average mulligan hand is going to be worse than this one, but I do not like, oh, never mind, I love it. <laughs> if I can just resolve this beneath counterspell mana, it's perfect. Okay. So that tells me they have essence scatter just by that really short pause. Um, really just makes me feel like they do. So I'm going to lead off on Shield Mare if they do nothing here. Um, do I lead off on Shield Mare? Do I let them Essence Scatter me? This is tough. Yeah. If they Essence Scatter this, that's acceptable. I'm not... I just need to be in play so they have to do stuff. Yeah, now we can play the angel. Ooh. Duress is good here. That lets me shape the game. Disperse. So they just have a bunch of fatties. Salvager of Secrets gets back. Disperse. Horizon Scholar is big. Okay, so they have like no interaction. That's good. Um, given that, let's play a 3-3 three, three flyer, right? They don't have double blue. They're going to play a skeleton archer. Oh, we can't block next turn because they play skeleton archer. I, I think I want the bugler down. Okay. Murder would have been nice, but at least we can hit for damage here. And we have double luminous bonds. So they're going to keep tapping out for all these expensive threats. And we're just going to enchant them to death. Skeleton Archer. Okay, so that one's gone. I don't think they played a land. If we hit a land, please hit a land. Vampire Neonate. Um, okay. So we can Luminous Bonds the Archerer and play a Neonate, or we can just tap out for a Fell Spectre. How does our end game look against them? Good because we have the Angel. Bad because they have Lich's Caress. So right now Spectre gets one of these or an Unknown, which can't be a land. Uh, I kind of like just putting them under pressure here. Take four. Next turn they have to tap out for their threat again. They take even more. And, okay, so they had an island. Epicure of blood, yep. I think I kind of have to let the Epicure sit around, land. 
Angel. Ooh, Angel's real good. Um, yeah, I think I want to Spectre and just make them discard one of these two. Especially since we have uh, Angel of the Dawn in play. This also stops their flying attacks. Discard Divination, okay. So they have no good attacks now. We can deal with Horizon Scholar. Yep. Yep. Land? Okay. No land hurts. Um, I guess I play this Angel now. And no attacks. <laughs> that was off the top, by the way. <laughs> I want everyone to know. Yep, good play. Land? Sky Scanner can hit a land. Land. Perfect, okay. Now we in business. Um, no attacks. Basically, I think I want to save this Angel of the Dawn because we can Regal Bloodlord plus Vampire Neonate for a long time. Diagraph Ghoul. Yeah, that does nothing. Land. Uh, I guess we didn't even need a land, did we? Yeah, yeah, so we play him. Beginning of each end step. So we can actually gain two tokens. But this is quite the combo that they have to interact with right now. They conceded! Oh, oh, where's, where's the game? Whew, we outvalued the value deck. Oh man, all right, well, <laughs> it's a nice 3-0. I think we had a pretty easy run of it until the finals. Our opponent's deck was great and they played really well, but squeezed out the 3-0. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.